Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. Thanks a lot for taking a little time out of your day or morning or afternoon to watch the video. That's much appreciated. Man, I've got a really, really good juicy tip, hack, or whatever you want to call it here. Um, this is this is going to help you guys catch some fish. It's one of those that I uh, haven't uh, shared to the extent that I'm going to share it right now. I'm going to really get into some detail on it. So it's, it's, it's going to be something you will definitely add to your arsenal, I can promise. Um, real quick, just want to invite everybody, if you haven't had a chance, to please subscribe to the channel and please hit that notification bell button so that way you don't miss any of the videos. That'd be much appreciated. Okay, guys, I'm going to show you how to modify a hard plastic bait. Doesn't matter if it's a crankbait, jerkbait, glide bait, whatever, to get a look on it that the fish have never seen before because you cannot get this color modification I'm talking about through factory means. Um, I've, I've actually, I've created this color for a couple different companies. They can't get it right <clears throat> because you have to do it by hand to do it. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys how to do it, which you can use it to any bait that you want to do. So anyway, today I'm going to show you how to do it on a Mega Bass Vision 110 jerk bait. And what you want to do on this guy is it doesn't make any difference if you're using a jerk bait or a crank bait or whatever. Um, you need to have some type of a translucent side on it so for example you know i got the jerk bait here or you know if you got a crank bait you know just something with a with a translucent side on it. this is what's going to cause the color so anyway what i'm going to do with this i'm going to do a before and after i'll show you what these look like before and after together same bait and you definitely want to take the hooks off before you do this so first thing you want to do is uh, get you just this kitchen sink brillo pad you can get them at Walmart or wherever, just any, any place that's got kitchen appliances. And we're gonna rough up the side. Of course, the uh, air conditioner always kicks on every time I do a video here. Turn it off real quick. Um, I've, I've talked about the Brillo pad a little bit in the, in the past, so this part of it here is, is not really too new to it. But you wanna really rough it up good. And the, the, the purpose of roughing it up it's going to let the color adhere to it better. If you if you don't rough it up, the color really comes off easy. So by roughing it up and, and just sort of breaking up some of those fibers, it'll really get the uh, the color to stay on there longer. So going to get. And also, also with this Brillo pad, guys, even without putting the color on it, you can really modify a bait a lot just by uh, you know. Uh, just by roughing it up a little bit, it gives the bait a different color. So next thing I'm gonna do, I got it roughed up. I'm gonna take a can of spray dye right here. Now the spray dye is critical because you can't get the same look on here, what I'm talking about, without spray dye. You can't use a dip and dye or a pen or anything like that, a, you know, some type of a, a marking pen. Get your pair of pliers, hold it out like this, and start out from a distance away and you want to get it where you put a, just a light puff on it because you don't want to get it too heavy. And once you get a light puff on it like that, turn it around, do the other side. Make sure you don't get the back. You want to leave, you, you want to leave the back where it's not colored like that. The, what this does is when you color it with the spray paint on there, it lays it down and gives it a different look than you can by any other means. So anyway, I'll take a look at this now. I'll show you the two differences. Take a, take a look at the uh, same bait, just with a Brillo pad and a little bit of chartreuse on there. Guys, I'm telling you right this, this is money right here. This gives the bait a look like these fish I've never seen before. It's like a see-through translucent chartreuse. I don't talk about this hardly at all. I decided to give this up to you guys right here, but I'm telling you guys right now, they will, gobble this thing up right here especially a lot of different you know water clarity conditions but i really really like it if you have some type of wind or something like a, a heavy partly cloudy overcast or overcast or rainy day it puts a glow in the water that you just can't duplicate but this is the same bait with just that simple modification and you'll you'd be surprised um, how long that stays on there if it doesn't like if you fish it for half a day or something and it starts fading out you can just put another application of it on there and it really makes a good deal but the main thing guys is it's you got to have the spray because 
if you don't have the spray, it overwhelms the color on it and you can't get the same sort of translucent chartreuse, chartreuse look. So fish catching bait, I can't, I, guys, I cannot, I couldn't put all the bass in my boat that I've caught. I could, they, they, they come overflowing out the side of the, the boat with the, the, the bass that I've caught on that color right there over the past 30 years. So give it a try. Just a nice little tip here, guys. It's gonna help you guys catch them for sure. Hope you guys are having a good day and thanks for tuning in. We'll talk later.